Welcome back. Uh, in this video, it's obviously about the CG, the center of gravity. Uh, I've got the CG machine here. Uh, I always like to use it because it's the most accurate way using your fingers or a pencil. It isn't quite as accurate. And I've got lines extended so I can see the, where the CG is underneath the wing. Let me show that to you. Okay. First off, you always do the CG with the battery on, so the battery is in place. I've got lines here and here to, um, that go through the center of gravity. And um, the important thing about center of gravity is to make sure that it's not tail heavy. Okay. A little nose heavy is good, a little tail heavy is not. And um, you have to really make sure where that battery is going to be. The first time I put the battery on, I had it a little bit forward. I've moved it back. Uh, about a quarter of an inch and so I'll put it back on the CG machine here and I don't usually use these um, wires uh, on the front of the CG machine because sometimes they're just not as accurate as you want them and uh, but you do have to get the line lined up with the center of the post that the CG um, that the pad sits on for balancing the airplane. Okay, so that is slightly nose down, which is just fine with me. Um, I would much rather it be a little tail heavy, I mean nose heavy than tail heavy, because tail heavy doesn't fly well, nose heavy flies just fine. So um, uh, the CG is marked. Um, on the plans or on the kit if you buy the kit and it's easy to uh, see that mark even after you paint it <clears throat> and uh, so that's going to be a good balance machine right where it should be with the with the battery between the um, landing gear and being held by the rubber band that holds the landing gear on uh, that's the way it was designed and that's the way it's working okay that's the CG. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.